Reporting on the games you love by people who love to game. The MMO Reporter Network. MMO Reporter's PAX Prime coverage is brought to you by... Dragon Fantasy, The Black Tome of Ice. A 16-bit style JRPG coming soon on Steam, iOS, Android, 3DS, and Wii U. Hey everybody, Chris here from MMO Reporters. I'm visiting Tryon Worlds today. I'm talking to Andrew Krausnick. He is the executive producer for Trove. Uh, we've chatted for, uh, I think, every year for the past few years about Trove. And now we've been talking about what's coming up, the Shadow Tower. Very exciting. Let us know about that. Yeah, absolutely. So the Shadow Tower is us taking our Shadow Arenas to version 2.0. The idea here is every week you get a whole new Shadow Tower. Everyone playing the game, and the challenge is to get as far as you can and you get unique rewards along the way, and then whoever beats that last floor the fastest, there's normal and hard mode, last floor the fastest, gets their name on the leaderboard, and if you're on the very top of that leaderboard, you get your name in a special color in chat and in game, so, yeah. That's pretty cool, and you were mentioning too when we were chatting earlier that um, it's gonna start off as something that you can explore on your own, soloable, but then you're gonna need some help if you wanna beat it on hard mode. Absolutely, so uh, you can have up to eight people in a single floor, and it's actually capped at eight. Um, and then, yeah, so it's not going to be dual without the best gear, eight people, maybe a little bit of luck or the right kind of team composition to get through that last floor, the very hardest level. Um, we are introducing also bigger bosses. We're calling them Shadow Titans. And these are going to have totally unique mechanics. They're going to be huge. Uh, you're probably looking at one on screen right now. Uh, and this is going to be, yeah, it's going to be amazing. This one's the Weeping Prophet. Um, it really just wants to give you a big hug. <laughs> a big lo love hug of death. <laughs> that that is correct. It's it's not happy with you. Yeah. So lots of content, and this is something that you've been just doing. And I remember um, going into the very very early alpha when I think you could go in and hit blocks and maybe jump. And to see where Trove is now, is starting from such a small team, small project to grow into a pretty big milestone that you've hit recently. I think it was uh, one million players uh, oh, yeah. in a month. Yep. I mean that's pretty huge. That is huge, uh, and I mean, to be honest, that was uh, exceptional for us. Like, we had some expectations, you know, we expected to get a lot more players when we launched, when we went on Steam, but we got a lot, a lot more players, and it's been just absolutely fantastic. And yeah, seeing it grow from almost nothing, which, you know, is, I think I attribute to obviously my team, which is fantastic, but then also our players, the people who came in, and who've given us a lot of feedback, and have been able to help us make the game a whole lot better, and also even contribute a lot to the game itself. Like, as you know, we have a lot of user-made content, dungeons, costumes, mounts, all that stuff players make, uh, and all of that has just driven the game forward tons in the last year. And I think part of it also has to do with the fact that you iterate like every every game iterates, right? You you go, but you do so at a pace and at a at a at a level that you don't see very often in the gaming industry. Uh, yeah, that's absolutely correct. And I think we've taken our inspiration from other you know mobile games, free to play games. We said, all right, maybe not everything here applies directly over, but we definitely think there's some lessons there. Like they do, they iterate really fast, and it's been fantastic. It's a bet we made. Um, and I think it's really paid off. And we've kept it up. Um, we're actually going into launch. We're taking a look at what we can do to bring our stability up as well. Um, it's something that we definitely ran into. We had some cues and stuff right at launch, and that's a big priority for us. Uh, at the same time, we're never going to get away from really iterating strongly, keeping that constant update pace going as well. But that also must be very challenging for the team to always, you know, you never get a chance to sit back. You always have to keep pushing forward. That is correct. We make sure we don't burn out. Uh, but it is something we're always keeping an eye on because there's always a new deadline and it's always coming up really soon. And, and you're also not just iterating as far as uh, game mechanics or anything like that, but content as well and different classes that you're bringing out. You're always bringing out, I always hear about a new class, uh, whether it's a candy barbarian or, or all sorts of different stuff. There's always something new coming up. Oh yeah, definitely. That's, that's also a big part of this whole thing, right? Like playing these online games, being a part of the process, uh, you don't want to get there and have it just be kind of like, oh, this is, the game is done, you know? You want to see it continue to grow over time, and the whole point of having a team still on the game and people playing the game continuously for years and years and years really is to see it continue to grow. And that's just it's a core pillar of our game, and we're going to keep doing it. Now, are you finding that players tend to um, stick with a class and build that class up and work with that, or are players in Trove jumping around from all the different classes that you have? 
I actually think the average use case is a bit of both. Um, players have their favorites, the ones they really max out, the ones they really go deep on. Um, but then they have other ones they play during the off time. They get the mastery points out of, they max the level, and they don't, they don't necessarily gear it all the way out. But they have it reserved for when it's a bonus class for challenges or something like that. Um, that's really our design goal. It's, it's to make it so there's some that you want to hardcore focus on, go for that. Uh, but also just try everything out, max everything out, play the, entire, you know, the entirety of the game. Well, thanks for chatting with us again. Uh, really appreciate taking a look at the new content and chatting with you again. It's always fun and uh, lots of success in the future. All right, thanks a lot. We'll uh, see you next year. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Don't forget to check out all the other podcasts at mmoreporter.com or by clicking on any of the links here. And please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash mmoreporter. Thanks, everyone, and see you in game.